Hi, today I'm reviewing the Geek and Gorgeous Liquid Hydration. And really quick, I just want to say I purchase all these products with my own money. I'll never waste your time with sponsor ads or videos. So if you want to help support the channel, check out nobsbeauty.com, join Patreon community, or click on the links below. And today we've got Layla, and she's got a little blue jay. And Layla always makes me think of the song Layla. So, such a pretty name. So, we got the little blue jay. Gotta find a little spot for him. Okay. Okay, so, uh, one of the few products from Geek and Gorgeous I haven't, haven't reviewed yet, although I haven't reviewed their exfoliants yet, so I'm certainly going to have to do that. But, um, anyway, so, really happy with the Geek and Gorgeous brand. It's almost like they took all my ideas and put in a skincare brand and didn't realize they did it, so... They should pay me. Okay, so really quick uh, description. Panthenol or Provitamin B5 is a well-established moisturizer known not only to hydrate the skin, but to have powerful skin soothing, barrier strengthening, and wound healing properties, which is all true. Uh, this formula combines 5% Panthenol with Alantlin and natural moisturizing components to further increase both the hydrating and the soothing ability of the toner. Okay, so this one I've really enjoyed using. I like the packaging. Very efficient. I could see if you had to travel with this toner. I don't think anything's going to spill. I don't know. Some toners are in just such giant bottles that they're not travel friendly, but this one is like the perfect size. Although I think they might have a larger size. I'm not sure. Anyway, I could be wrong. Although I'm never wrong. So, am I? Well, I've got one friend that she always has to be right. And it's like, I'm right. You don't get it. But nope, she has to be right. She's a right fighter, but... She doesn't realize I'm right. <laughs> anyway, I uh, I ranted at her for like an hour yesterday because she was using a tanning bed. And then uh, I don't think she's going to listen to me. Nothing I can do about it. But I'm right, so listen to me. Okay. So anyway, on to alcohol. This does not contain any denatured drying types of alcohol. This is also fragrance free. Uh, it's manufactured in Hungary, which I love because... I'm like 1 8th or 1 16th Hungarian. Uh, okay, so ease of use. Uh, let me do a quick pH test. And uh, so you can use this as a traditional toner, apply it on a cotton pad. Uh, you can also just put it in the palm of your hands and pat it on your skin. Use it immediately after cleansing. The pH of this looks to be right about 5, right around 5, so no issues with that. Um, yeah, so you can use it on a cotton pad or just pat it on your skin either way. I, you know what, sometimes, especially if I had used a lot of makeup and sunscreen that day, if it was a sunscreen reapplication day, I really like to use it on a cotton pad just in case my cleanser didn't remove anything. Just in case, because you never know. So I like to do it that way, but in the morning, I'll usually just pat it on. No need for a cotton pad. Um, so personally, I recommend going on to your serum step right after this. But before letting it dry completely, just to keep that hydration on, then just apply your serum before it's had a chance to dry fully, just because it helps retain the moisture. If you let it dry, then it has a potential to evaporate. It's just better if you can apply your serum when your skin is still hydrated and uh, moist a little bit. So, um, yeah. So, otherwise, no issues. It doesn't leave the skin feeling greasy at all. It feels really nice. I don't know. Did you see it? It's just a liquid. There you go. Okay. So antioxidants and beneficial ingredients of this one. So Geek and Gorgeous typically is a minimalist company. They put, you know, the good ingredients in there and then try and make it a short ingredient list. This one is a little bit longer. So we've got panthenol, obviously. Great skin soothing ingredient, great hydrating ingredient. Helps with your skin barrier. Has some anti-inflammatory properties. Can also help reduce irritation. Uh, and also can help with wound healing uh, due to fibroblast production, proliferation, which can in turn also help with uh, potential collagen and firmness of skin. We've got sodium PCA, which is a skin identical ingredient, natural moisturizer. We've got diglycerin, which I don't see in a lot of products. You see glycerin all the time, but diglycerin is like the uh, sister or relative to glycerin. Uh, that's a natural moisturizing factor and also a skin identical ingredient. It's a little bit larger molecule than regular glycerin. Uh, so it helps maintain moisture a bit uh, better and longer. Then we've got urea, which is a skin identical ingredient. And nobody leave me a comment that urea is PP because it's not made with... I had somebody leave a comment like two years ago and stuck in my head that they're like, that's PP that they're putting into the products. <laughs> and I'm like, there's no freaking way. Urea is in like a gazillion products. There's no way it's PP. 
I sound like a five-year-old. Urine? I don't know. Oh, it's all going downhill fast. Uh, but anyway, it's not, it's a synthetically made, it's, they don't have people pee in a cup and put it into a skincare product. And if they did, I probably wouldn't use that brand. Probably. You know what? I wouldn't use that brand. But it's great. It's a great ingredient. It's a natural moisturizing factor. It helps with uh, epidermal function, improves the skin barrier. Uh, it's also very beneficial for skin that is excessively dry, compromised skin barrier, psoriasis, eczema, and skin with dermatitis. So a great ingredient and not made with PP. Okay. Are they gonna have to? Are you gonna have to edit that word out? No. Okay. It's not like I'm dropping the F word or anything. So then we've got hydrolyzed rice protein, which is a skin conditioning ingredient and hydrating ingredient. We've got sorbitol, which is a humectant. We've got PCA, which is another skin identical ingredient, hydrating ingredient, natural moisturizing factor. Then we've got allantolin, another skin soothing and hydrating ingredient. Lactic acid, which lactic acid typically in a Larger amounts in a formula with a lower pH is an exfoliant, but lactic acid uh, in other products in smaller amounts with a higher pH functions more in a moisturizing fashion. Uh, and then we've got vitamin E, which is an antioxidant hydrating ingredient. So a nice list of good ingredients and still a relatively short formula ingredient list. Okay, in terms of uh, animal testing, this is cruelty-free, it's vegan, it's gluten-free, Fungal acne safe and pregnancy safe. So we've got a long list of it's very, very safe, 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 safe. Very safe. Performance, I like this one. Uh, it's helped my skin stay hydrated. It's helped with dryness. Uh, it seems to help a little bit with redness as well. Um, and certainly helps keep my skin moisturized, especially if you use other exfoliating products or retinol. Um, and it's pretty friendly for acne prone skin. There's only one ingredient of note and that is vitamin E, which is towards the bottom of the list. So there you go. So price. So this is 110 milliliters. It's 3.7 ounces. And it retails with the conversion from euros to dollars. About $9 if I did it correctly. I'm like 90% certain I did it correctly. Although I'm always right. So I must have done it right because I'm always right. So... Okay, then in terms of the effect, I really like this one. Great for sensitive skin, great for acne prone skin, great for dry skin, great for oily skin, sensitive skin, leaves skin feeling soft and hydrated, affordable, cruelty free, wonderful product. Love this one, along with their APAD serum, their C Glow serum, and their niacinamide, and their exfoliants are amazing too. This one's a winner. So, with a 10 being a perfect score, this one also got a 10. So, love this one, love this brand. Cannot wait to see what else they come out with next. So anyway, those are my thoughts on the Geek and Gorgeous Liquid Hydration. I'm interested in hearing from you guys if you've had a chance to check it out yet or not. And if you have what your thoughts are, so definitely leave a comment. I love hearing from you guys. And stay tuned for more tomorrow. Thank you so much.